Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be working on this. This is... is he in frame? There we go. This is Starscream from Flame Toys. It is a non-transformable model kit. And it is... it is officially licensed. And this is my second kit. The first one I did was a really highly stylized Optimus Prime. And I just got this one. Uh, a couple of days ago uh, from Barnes and Noble of all places so I'm um, just gonna do an unboxing and see what's inside get the kit built and see what we got all right here it is let me just adjust the camera a bit for better view okay here we go here's the box I took out the plastic wrapping that that it was that was around it or it was wrapped in Here's the back of the box. Let's see if I can get rid of this glare here. That's even possible. There we go. I think that's a bit better. Hopefully it's not too dark. You can see the detail. So this is Starscream, and I think they are making uh, the other Seekers. And let's open this up and see what we get. Okay, we got the instruction booklet. Let's get this out. So, um, if you build Gunpla, the Gundam model kits, this is probably very equivalent to uh, a high grade in terms of complexity and parts. Probably, yeah, just in uh, I would say a high grade Gunpla kit. So, let's put this aside here. Let's look at the instructions. Starscream. Comes with some stickers. Very cool put that aside and I like how the instructions are in color very easy to follow nothing really out of the ordinary here and that is it hey okay, let's check the sprues so it comes with these Okay, we have, first of all, I know I should have been a bit better organized. Here is two sprues in gray. If I can get it open. There you go. These look identical, which, which is probably, you know, left and right foot. Looks like it has multiple heads. I'm not too sure if it is, but uh, no, it, it's the same head. It's just, um, I guess it was just easier to duplicate the sprue. I do like the fact that the Decepticon symbol is molded on, just in case you want to go all out and paint it. So we got these two gray runners. Runners is what, I guess the proper term. I don't know, column sprues, runners, I'm not sure. And then we have the this a little darker gray runners, identical ones as well. Two of these. And one of these dark ones, which look to be more related to the inner body, the little vents here. Very cool. His blue parts which is uh, his arms, I believe parts of his legs. And we have, again, two identical, I guess for left and right. And this is a more unique piece for the fist, the hands, and some other parts. Next we have one more gray and runner and a red runner. Oops, there we go. This. Okay. Yeah, for the body, nose cone. And again for the body as well. And last but not least, these are most likely uh, 
what in Gundam they call them polycaps and your clear pieces and you have it in yellow and this I'm assuming will be the red clear part will become the visor oh hey that is it for what we got I'm gonna start building this uh, maybe I'll do a time lapse on this because I'm pretty sure nobody wants to watch me just build well in real time at least Okay, here is Starscream built up, completed, and as you can see, he comes with two additional sets of hands. Here we have some holding hands because he is able to hold the null ray. Let's take it out of the, the arm here. So both null rays are able to flip out a handle like this, so we can, um, Starscream can just hold it like a regular gun. But I prefer it being on his shoulders, so let's put that here. And he also comes with these open hands, so for some posing. Two of them, exactly the same. Let's put the hands aside. Take a look at Starscream, a little close up here. If you look on the eyes, the eyes um, is actually a clear red plastic, but it's very hard to show see on camera. There's no light piping though So if you look on the top of the head, there's no way for light to come Through so it's a little bit odd that they would use a clear red Because it just comes out as if he doesn't really have any eyes now um, The figure itself I, I like the design. I like it a lot better than the Optimus Prime kit that I put together uh, a couple months or a couple weeks ago. Um, this stature fits Starscream to me. Um, have the Optimus right here. The stature of this Prime does not fit that well. It's I always imagine Optimus as being more bulky. Um, this Prime, he's a little too thin for my my liking. And um, it's it's too much of a Gundam design, but um, I did pick up this kit here. Let's see if I can get this in here. And this is the IDW Optimus Prime design, and I think this will match a lot better. But anyway, let's put this aside because it's all about Starscream for this video. Hey, okay, let's get some more detail shots here. So Starscream, very nice uh, sculpt uh, design. I like it a lot. Very sleek. Um, it does come with these foil stickers. Now, the Decepticon logo under the sticker is actually molded on. So if you did want to paint it, it'd be a lot easier to do because you're, it's, you can follow the mold on there. Here's the back of the figure. And there's a little bit of moving parts besides the, the, the articulation of the, the limbs and stuff. So like down here, this piece can move up and down. And then this part of the, the shin or knee cap cover can move a little bit. And then uh, the fins on the back of the leg has some articulation. And of course the wings are able to fold and rotate as well. Okay, so on to articulation. So let's start with the head. The head has multiple points of articulation, but it's basically on a ball joint on the top of the head and there's a ball joint on the bottom but that part is very snug so it don't doesn't move the arm he can rotate it up this high get that in camera he can rotate almost 360 but um 
Well, I guess you can. 360. If you push the wing out. And of course, the elbow has two joints. So he can touch his upper arm here. He can rotate at the arm. And then 360 at the wrist. Because these are meant to be able to pop out. And put in other hands as you can see so the legs he can do the splits you can move up and move back and then the knee has is double as well so he can have this kind of a pose And there is some thigh rotation here as well. And then the lay, the toes are on a ball joint, but it can't rotate completely, but it does have this movement that a ball joint does have. Now on the ch upper body, he can do ab crunches and they made the cockpit so it's movable like this for him to be able to crunch a little like that. and go back like that so it is on a ball so he's able to go have side to side motion and able to rotate 360 as well on the bottom and but not on the top because of this area and that is pretty much it for articulation um let's see here the the wood the guns, as I said earlier, they can pop off and you can have him hold it in his other hand. And the wings are able to come out. I guess you could glue them. If you watch my time lapse video, well, it's pretty quick, so you may not catch it. There are some parts that I did glue because they were, they just seemed to fall off a bit too easy. That I, I, I believe down the line as the figure is moved around, I might end up losing them. Some of those parts are this. The little plastic uh, clear plastic here this part was very loose so I glued that on in fact it wouldn't it would not stick um, and that is about it but um, other than that I like this figure a lot I think it's really great um, it was much better or m much more of a joy to build than the Optimus Prime figure um, while this figure was pretty easy to build I, it, it you know it wasn't I I guess I guess because this has a bit more parts with the wings it, it was more fun if that makes sense to build for me but other than that I am I might end up panel lining this guy since I um, applied all the stickers and put them up for display anyway that is it for this video thanks for watching <laughs>